Hello, everyone, and oh my, I'll just lean this in here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another <laughs> episode of, <laughs> of Get to Know Your Neighbor, uh, another episode of Simply Second Edition, where we get close to people. <laughs> Stop that. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying something different here. Uh, I've got my wife and Cheryl Balls with us tonight. Say hello, honey. Hello. We have Joe Gibson, several mile an hour to the south here in Canada and in Oshawa this evening. Hello, hello. We have Jared Mercer, our GM for the evening, giving us part two of his World of Rotram, dropped right into the second edition rule set for us to play. Ha, 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 ha. And... Because we had Cheryl playing Friday, we had Corey playing Sunday, now I've got both of them playing Sunday, and it's a little cramped in here. Um, <laughs> got Corey <laughs> beside me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, um, it's a thing. So thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome to Simply Second Edition, and we are doing part two of Jared Mercer's World of Rotram. Thank you. Pen and Dragon Games. We'd like to thank our sponsors, um, Fantasy Grounds, for supplying us with the second edition core rule book. And we're digging right in there on Age of Ashes on Friday nights at 8 p.m., streaming for Dark Galaxies Gaming. But tonight we're streaming right here at twitch.tv forward slash GM's Cut on our own channel. And we're using that generous donation, that sponsorship of Fantasy Grounds to do another show this show where anything can happen we did a little bit of uh, one shot with rob or i took over now we're doing a bit of a one shot with jared and he's doing a homebrew world and that world is called oh you want me to talk <laughs> oh yeah <okay. laughs> rutram and <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see now. <laughs> Take it away, Jared. It's all you, so, buddy. Then you got for being a smart ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this world is a representation of basically the oh shit scenario of something went bad in the past and nobody knows what it is. They don't even know how they really got to where they are now. Uh, we are starting in the lovely, 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 uh, secluded. I hear it's lovely. Apparently. Yes, uh, <laughs> mountain Valley. Does it have flowers? It has flowers. It has trees. It has mountain homes. Um, occasionally, if we continue, we might even get into the politics of it. What about garden gnomes? Um, no, mm -hmm. their their pointy heads are are wanted. Um, there's a 100 gold bounty per pointy head, uh, so be careful with that one. Um, there's a bounty on gnomes. Yeah. What? Yes. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the closest thing to a gnome here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no gnomes here. What are you talking about? Mm. Uh, no. So they have been the party. The players have been invited by a Mr. Grimm. A Mr. Todd, well, Grim Todd, who um, has basically pulled together all of his resources, kind of single-handedly conquered his family's um, noble house, and has disconnected from one of the th three major circles. And we have been given the um, join us or continue living in squalor speech. And everybody seems to have agreed that joining uh, Grim Todd and his little expeditionary force out into the rest of the world is the way to go. Because he's offering uh, basically money, adventure, and the possibility to kind of spread out on your own, do your own thing with his backing. Um, the only thing he asks are two things that you come to his aid when he calls and that whatever you do uh, whatever you gain whatever treasures you find one share of that treasure goes back to him to support the others who might fall or possibly um their orphans and widows fund basically 
Would you mind recap recapping where we were? You're inside of a giant tent. Um, uh, be giving this speech outside about a day's ride outside of the capital. Um, Pope's retreat. And uh, basically you're kind of joining the group that is going to be looked down upon because he's kind of pushed his way out of tradition and the traditionalists don't like him the uh basically each group doesn't really like him for their own reasons either taking resources or turning um agreements around uh for his benefit um he, he like shot know. somebody right in front of us it was like Yes, uh, he does not seem to like to to play nice with the other circles, the other tr um, political powers now that he's out and now that he's moved on. Um, they, from what you can tell, they have um, tried to push uh, back in, tried to, you know, hey, we'll let you do this, but, you know, you need to have our support, our ad advisors. And he basically asked this, the advisor to shut up from what you can tell. And uh, when he didn't, he shot him. Um, it's the first firearm that you've seen. You've heard of firearms. You know that they existed one time. Um, there are rumors abound that many of the uh, circles have in their employ people who know how to use them. But this is, for many of you, the first time you've ever seen uh, a firearm used so just without second thought you know it's the idea that the the weapon is so rare and so um devastating you know just the the generic use of it to execute somebody in you know that a, a dagger could have done the same thing uh, would be the more shocking thing to some of you especially the alchemists who have spent a long time trying to find uh, ways to reproduce some of these uh, mythical items. So that is where we stand. Everybody in the tent, there's about 250 of you who have been um, singled out. The rest of the expeditionary force is mostly uh, criminals and people that were removed from dungeons. Um, everything from your basic uh, pickpocket to uh, people who would have been executed that week on any other circumstance. So the circles and other political organizations seem to be grudgingly agreeing with whatever they agreed with, but only to the letter and not the spirit. Hmm. And so uh, Grim Todd is basically, he's, he's basking there. He's like, yes, okay, calm down, calm down. Now for the work uh none of this will come easy none of this we have to get through the mountains uh and to that end i have sent a um advance party to start mining their way through the mountains and you guys all here uh, are going to have to be put into squads um anywhere from three to seven members and you'll each be given a task based on your skill sets or what's available. Sometimes you will have the opportunity to choose your own objectives, but for this first one uh, and the next three, for the most part, we are going to be giving them to you based on merit and how you do in them. Uh, your options will be given, you'll be given greater options the better you do and uh, based on how they, they basically grade you. Um, so for that, he's kind of like looking around and um, you know, a lot of people are already being grouped together by his uh, right hand and left hand. Uh, you've already met the one, Idriel, the uh, half elf who has a very bloody history and was possibly one of the inquisitors from the Circle of Wisdom, the Council of Wisdom. And... Uh, so you've met her and she points 
kind of directly at all of you. You know, you were the last five to come in here. Um, and and so he, he, she is, you, sticky fingers over there at the party tray. Yes, I'm looking at you. Uh, come here. Uh, curious George over there. Yes, the one that can't take his hands off of books. You too. And she points around and, and basically singles you all out. Okay. And kind of does the come hither finger uh, and then points directly in front of her. And we learn and... Rob is actually a woman because we're short Rob tonight. And we just picked up Cheryl's character. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is a, pulls off the mask. Yes. I'm actually. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That's right. So um, I'm, are you going to go or are you going to like pretend that you, you don't see this? Yeah. yeah we're going. All right. Off we go. And you get up there and she gives you like the, give me a second. And um, if you make a perception check, let's find out what you guys can overhear. I have a 13. Okay. Still stuck with food, it looks like. <laughs> All right, Cheryl. Oh. And Dr. Quack, of course, with 24. 24 very good um as you're waiting you've kind of taken the seats up front or are standing around up front um you notice that not only those two but a, a handful of other people are kind of going through shuffling people around um making them into parties basically and then another person's coming around and handing them a slip of paper and uh, many of them are getting sent to tasks that sound very ominous um patrolling uh, everywhere from uh, an hour's ride out to a day's ride out. Um, and a very big group is being sent to screen towards the capital to basically prevent anybody from following them where they're heading and to report any groups of people being sent out. A very large portion it seems to be getting fanned back towards the capital city. Um, there's even a group of people who are being pulled aside because they have skills in the apothecary and healing, and they are being questioned heavily on their skills and abilities, and basically being asked to go out and treat a lot of these inmates who have been sent here. Um, and then as all of this is going on, slowly people start filtering out, and you hear a lot more commotions going on outside, and um, uh, people are definitely on the move now. And so, finally, Grim and Adriel, Idriel comes come up, and Idriel seems to hand off a few file folders over to, to Grim, and he's flipping through them. Uh, okay, Alchemist. Mm. Ooh, what's this we have here? Looks like you owe some people some money. Well, I I, oh, well. I can explain. Are you you sure you want to? This, what are you doing at that hotel that many times in one week? It's not what you think. Um, certain people need uh, a doctor late at night, and they don't want to necessarily attract some of the council's attention. And I offer my services as sort of a. Oh, chop doc is such a crude term. As a churgeon, I, um, for the needy and possible, well, it's to say I don't ask questions if they happen to be of the criminal element. And I always need a room to work, so. Ah, a shadow doctor. Very good, very good. Um, you might be needed here, but not today, not today. All right, um. Ivrit, anything in your history I'm going to have to worry about? I don't think anything so. Anything at all? I don't think so. I'm just a bit of a wanderer. Mm. No enemies that you're worried about? No, I don't believe so. Okay, okay. Not an exile, then. No, sir. Definitely not an exile. You're definitely not an exile. No. Definitely okay. not. Well, if you were, that'd be fine too, but you know, I like to know who's an exile and who's not. Got a few of them. Got to watch out for some um, 
bounties. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Nothing wrong with a good bounty. No, no, of course not, of course not. Well, perhaps at harvest time, but a bounty on and your And you, head is young up. lady, with the roguish qualities, what's your story? <laughs> Gav? <laughs> labels, <laughs> labels! <laughs> <laughs> Anything I got to worry about with you? No, I, I no, I'm. You point and I'll go. Very good, very good. All right. So here's the thing. Are you sure, madam? You're not a troublemaker. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Gov. Hmm. We'll see. Well, <clears throat> introduce yourselves to each other after this, but uh. Oh, and we can pack some of that food up for you into a doggy bag if you'd like. Ark, come here. Come on. Wander on over. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring the rest of us a sandwich? <laughs> uh, so, here's the thing. I'm very worried about what's going to be happening. Uh because it looks like some of the councils are backing out on their um, pre-existing arrangements with me. So I need to make sure the path to the exit tunnel, as we are going to be calling it, is cleared and the miners aren't having any problems. So normally I'd be giving you all options because you have a very wide range of abilities and I just, I can't, can't waste it on some of these other groups right now. Our exit is more important than finding out what's actually happening in the capital city or finding out what's happening in some of the uh, lower towns. So I need you all to basically report to the miners camp, get me an estimate on when they will be to our gathering point um so that uh i can arrange the door to be shut on our way in um do you think you all have a problem with that no nope any questions what's the pay let me get this straight we're gonna leave but there is no coming back I wouldn't say that there isn't any coming back. It's just, I'm not liking what I'm hearing from my um, eyes and ears that are still inside the capital. So let's just say that we are going to be shutting a temporary door um, ah. so that we can set up on the other side and have a better control over uh, the flow of traffic once we are set up. Um, I do not need any of their uh, grubbing attention before we are ready. Understood. Um, oh, and as for pay, um, again, you're allowed to keep whatever you find so long as you put aside a, a, a good share for the rest of us here. Um, so, but I am not going to send you out without some gear or equipment. So make sure he hands you a slip of paper, and it's basically just saying uh, the quartermaster can give you all up to uh, 50 gold worth of equipment. Uh, make sure you, you get what you need. You're probably going to be gone about a week. So uh, make sure you get the rations, the supplies. Um, that will cover one cart and a uh, one of the cows we have if you want to use that or you can carry it all yourself it doesn't really bother me any um, go talk to one of our quartermasters they will make sure you get what you need so long as you know what you need uh, like I said it's going to be about a week before you, you make contact with us again so rations and any other supplies you may think you need any other questions before you, you vamos We're just looking, we're just well. looking around at each other, left, right, left, right. And like, uh, um, yes, right. Uh, go talk to a quartermaster. 
Um, get rations. Get supplies to survive for a week or more. And try to come back, please. They're going to die, aren't they? Yes, yes, sir. I think I think you picked wrong on this group. Shh, shh. I still have money in the betting pool. I bet these guys can do it. And at that, he turns and starts walking back into his tent. And as he turns and walks into his tent, I'm going to quietly cast a spell. Okay. What you casting? I detect magic. Okay. Um, the whole place is lighting up like a disco ball. Everything from the books to um, the tent material itself. Does it seem to be centered or coming stronger from any particular area? Uh, no, but this amount of things is definitely a sign that a lot of this shit probably isn't as uh, mundane as you think it looks. Um, like I said, the you could spend the time looking at everything and there's everything from uh, conjuration magic to divination to transmogrification. Even places have some strong residue of necromancy. Uh, uh, the entire ground that you're standing on is evocation. Um, which has got your hair up and goosebumps everywhere because like to the whole camp is one giant circle of evocation. Anything specific you're looking for? Nothing specific. So I'm going to nonchalantly lean on my staff and uh, explain to this ragtag group of people who we've seemed to be bundled up with and tell them what I found. Any any reactions? Any additional searching, looking, poking, prodding, book absconding? Best not to uh, bite the hand that feeds. So no. All right. So uh, so going out of the tent, are we? And looking for a quartermaster. We need a tent to sleep in in the wild, and a bunk and a mattress, and uh, you know everything else the big guy can carry for us. A mattress? Uh, you know, like a sleeping bag. <laughs> you want some mattress? <laughs> there you go, no man. Here's your mattress. Uh, hope you can carry it. This is I don't along. have any porters that can help you on this journey. He said something about the one cow we're allowed to rent and you know, <laughs> move. Yeah, let's drag it along like a. What is it? What is it? The in the Wild West they have like the two sticks in the little bed dragging behind a horse. Oh, the um, Travis or whatever they call it. Right? Uh, um, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, the, yeah. Litter. the litter. Yeah, that's there it. you go. So just, the litter. We'll just took up a litter, a mattress litter, and me and all the stuff can ride on it, and you guys can, you know, sally forth, and I will drive right. behind. So me and all the stuff. Yeah, me and all the stuff. I'm thinking you can pull it if you want it. Oh, about well. that cow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hmm. So uh, no, we we do try to head towards said quartermaster. Point it out. All right, so he it's not hard to miss. It's the second build, okay. biggest tent in this We're, whole place. I know no one's like mapped really the outside world, but are we do we have an inkling Here. where the other groups are going? Like they're like, you head north, you head west, and we have our own little map to like we're supposed to map so, out and grid. Like that's you know, not the one I want, kind of thing. Me... Have we been told to veer off in some direction where no one else has gone so that we're not all like, oh, we traveled all night, we found right. you guys, and your map's half done? Crap, can you guys see this on the fantasy grounds thing? Or do I need to? You need to double share. Do that. Right over right oh. Get some extra sharing in there, and yeah, we'll see. Sharing is caring. Yes. Some extra sharing in there. There we go. Oh, we got Actually, a loading screen. It. Yep. And the DM has crashed our world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's nothing beyond. <laughs> 
it's a lovely sort of um, parchment, blahish, yellow, semi-stained background with two cards. Yeah. It says loading, and it just kind of a uh, you know, my dice are just sitting here. Well, your oh, background oh, here screen. We go, here we go. There we go. So kind of to the if you're looking on Jeff's webcam. <laughs> Hang on, no, I'll I'll put it up for the people. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So the crater that's in the center of the map that's surrounded by my lovely mountains that I'm not completely happy with yet. Um, <laughs> uh, you're in the hex that is covered in both grassland and trees. Within the circle. And in, within the circle. And the capital city would be the next full hex against the mountains where you've got the mountain range and then some grassland. That is where the capital city is. So everybody's being sent basically fanning out back towards that. So north, south, east, uh, you're the only ones who seem to be going west. Okay. Okay. Now, is this continent map, like, is this known? Does Do our world or people have uh, an actual overview of the continent? Or is this sort of a meta? This is a co combination of meta. You would know, basically, the mountain ranges because the councils have sent out smaller, not so much expedition forces, but scouting forces. And some of them have come back with some basic maps. Okay. Um, so, basically... If you would go out seven hexes in any given direction, that's fairly well mapped out, just not fully explored. Um, okay. It's it's not like they spent a whole lot of time. They kind of went out, spent a half a year doing some just survey work, and then came back. Hmm. Um, and you, if you really want to, you can... Um, do some research uh, into what they ran into and what they found out uh, as part of your travel time uh, to better prepare yourself for what might be out there. Okay. Um, so that's where you are, and you would be heading kind of northwest. Um, that is where the tunnel location is that's being dug out. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the quartermaster stamp. Um, the place is pretty busy. A bunch of people are working around there, um, seemingly getting people packed up on, with some pretty simple stuff, some crossbows, some basic weapons, um, packs for, with food and basic shelter. Um, but these are for the groups that are going to be basically constantly coming back. So you've looks like you've been given a little bit more leeway in what you are allowed to procure. So are you just going to grab the attention of any of the people in the tent, or are you going to be looking for someone specific? Uh, the quartermaster, we would inquire, you know, Acquiring the goods was the first mission or order of business, right? Right. So who's in charge of delegating said goods would be top of our list, I guess. Yep. So, all right. Um, you're going to... A am I wrong? He's looking around. You know, I suppose we should, I suppose we should uh, you know, before all the good stuff's gone, <laughs> get on with it, you know. I'm going, All right. Oh. I'm going to look around and see who appears to look the least busy. Okay. Go ahead and make that their perception check. 18. Okay. Um, the least busy seems to be most of the gatherers and grabbers. Kind of your... Um, uh, your your staff, the guys who, you know, they're being told, hey, you, go get that. Hey, yeah, you, standing there in the corner, uh-huh, pretending that he's actually doing work. Yeah, you, go, go pick up something. Um, there's, there's a lot of that. Um, 
There's also a bunch of uh, people in the back who kind of have very large um, uh, books that they're scribbling in, making notes, looking up every once in a while and noticing what's going on and then going back to their scribbling in books. Um, but everybody seems to be fairly like on the move. You know, everybody knows that there seems to be a time crunch now. I'm going to pick one of those guys with the books. Doesn't matter which one, the one nearest to me, and wander over and go, Hey, I need some stuff. Mm, uh, 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 sorry, well, uh, yeah. what? I need some stuff. Some st stuff? Yeah, I need some gear, you know, stuff. Gear? I gear. need stuff, I need some food. I need some stuff. Food. I, I gotta go do my thing. Your th your thing. Our, our, do you got a request form? Yeah. Section B filled out. Signatures I, I, on there. I don't fill out forms. Here's my form. This is just a a notary saying that you have fifty gold worth of equipment. This isn't a request form, son. Uh The guy over there. Told that told me that me and my friends here, and I'm going to use that term loosely because I'm not sure I want to be friends with these guys yet. I haven't decided, <laughs> but uh, we're supposed to get this stuff. Sorry, Doc. No, it's fine. Uh, You're gonna hate me later. No one can hear this music I'm pumping in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hold your, all right. Hold yours. Hold yours, and I'll I'll get you the. I'll get you one of the representatives from the quartermasters to, uh, to help you out. Uh, do you each of you give 50 gold or is this for the whole party? Each. <laughs> hey, it worked for the dwarf in uh, Age of Ashes. <laughs> 20 gold ahead. <laughs> That's like 500 gold pieces in yield and addition times. Why not? Make a diplomacy or a bluff, whichever's higher for you. Don't mind if I do. What do we got here? Uh, plus one diplomacy. Uh, deception? Make deception. This, oh, there we go. Deception make, looks good. Make this good, Doc. 11. Oh, you're killing me. You could aid another. All right. You just not stand there and like, <laughs> <laughs> make it good. That's not aid another. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny, you, you, John, I don't care what your name really is. Get over here. How about, uh, I try a little bit of an intimidation roll in here. All right. This is Johnny. He's going to get you your stuff. I've got an 18 and, uh, for intimidation. And he'll be a really good help to you. I got to get back to making sure these ledgers are actual correct. So Johnny here. Johnny, look at me. Save, at you. Save your 18 for Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, help these young gentlemen and ladies get the stuff they want. That looks like, um, yeah, you can read, right, Johnny? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. I can read. Fine. Just don't. Yeah, I can read. Uh, all right, Johnny. Um, Johnny will take care of you. Uh, I got to get back to work. He hands Johnny the slip of paper that you handed him, and he goes back behind his desk and starts scribbling and checking numbers and everything else. All right, hi, hi, guys. Um, you, 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 all right. So it says here you get... Um, uh, yeah. 50 gold worth of stuff. Is that is that right, sirs and, and ma'ams? And this is where you're going to throw your intimidation check, by uh, the way. So what are you going to say? I'm pretty sure that's 50 each, Johnny. So let's get to it. And I got an 18. Yeah, I see that. Um, uh, <laughs> um, I, it, it just says 50. Uh, all right, sir. Um, fine. Right. I'm going to need a few extra hands then if it's 50 for each. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do? We'll, we'll help you. <laughs> Ad adapting uh, a Johnny-type mentality with my voice. <laughs> uh, all right, sirs. Um, very well, then. All right. Uh, how much of this do you want in rations? Where, where are you from, Johnny? 
I, I I was on the street, sir. I was picked right on up mm. off the streets. No shit. Me too. Yeah, yeah I've been <laughs> I've been I've been, <laughs> I've been following t- t- Grim Grim around for past past year. He's oh good old boy. Grim and I go way back, don't we? How long have I known Grim? Turning you. Don't blow it this time. Back back <laughs> me on this. Longer than I can speak of. That, that's an eight and other right there. DC 10. Just go. Just roll. Thank you. And uh, yeah, yeah. So don't don't you worry about a thing. Johnny? We're, we're all, we're all <laughs> strong back in That's hand. a D like 12. What Was are you a 12? rolling? All right. No, yeah. wrong one. Okay, good. Because maybe I'll get a better roll. Okay, well, we got an eight. That's, 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 that's you know, not helping your skills. <laughs> where's your skills? Just get away from me. <laughs> all right. Get away from me. <laughs> All of a sudden, right, he, well, his character just starts like drooling. Uh, He's got a seizure happening over on one side of his face. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh, nice, fifteen. There we go. The untrained deception. Well, all right then. All right, okay, yeah. All right, let me go grab two more boys, and we we'll get you guys all kinds. Of, we'll get you set up. Uh, do you need do you need a cart and 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 a minotaur to help you? A minotaur. Yeah, you know the big big cows with the really big horns that that pull everything around here is that going to come out of one of our 50 gold i mean it says you can get whatever you want yeah yeah we'll take two how long is it 50 gold? <laughs> we'll take two i can get you one we're not allowed to give parties any more than one. Oh, we, oh that's we fine. need them here no, uh, that's you fine. can get a you can get a cart and and i i i, I, I think john, johnny johnny you do you're doing a great yeah, yeah. you're doing a great job we'll take the one Oh, 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 okay. You you want a regular car, or you want one the uh, armored Fandango things? Armored. What? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Why y'all looking at me uh, like that? It's me and Johnny here. You guys can haggle for your own shit if you want. <laughs> All right, are you a school teacher, Mister? I just you look like a smart smart one. I'm. <clears throat> puff out my little oh actually in your world i'm actually tall for a gnome half gnome i'm a children don't worry johnny i'm a children do you know what a church i pull him in close do you know what a children is johnny <laughs> it, it, is that the, is that the guy that, that comes in and checks to make sure that the bodies are dead uh sometimes <laughs> um i'm i'm the guy that if you uh, get do hurt, you I like could... to poke them in the in the butt, sir. I, is that what you do? Uh, no, let's move on, Johnny. About that minotaur. <laughs> it's not going too much detail. <laughs> Your imagination is scaring me, Johnny. <laughs> let's just let's just move along with that minotaur on that card. All, all right, sir. I, that that will definitely take up one, one of your fifties. So um, that's fine. That'll be me. Um, I'll ride then, the damn thing. Who needs a mattress? All right, so I'm guessing you all going to need some weapons? I step back. You guys can have Adam. Who who needs weapons? Now you need weapons? What are I you going to do, bite them to death? Oh, we got nothing? Like we, sorry, we don't have our initial gear? Sorry, DM, I'm confused. Or are we sort no, of... you still have your initial gear. You're getting an additional 50 gold worth of stuff if you need it. Okay, so I do have my the blowgun and the sling and okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay i'm good i do not need anything else excuse me um all right would you check the chat please certainly which chat none of your business uh-huh oh, okay okay all i see is nudge nudge wink wink <laughs> okay um i think I there's secret think... things going on there secret chat secret um, not to take away from the immersion right now that's fine of johnny that's fine um is there any other buttons i need to push to get these dice um towers to turn on i thought i hit the right button but i don't know if they're actually coming up do you guys have uh, dice I towers see mine yep i have mine I got mine. Okay, oh, there we, we go. Got shadow dice are appearing. Look at this. I drop in the tower, and the shadow of a dice rolls for you. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. The only problem is, is it's not telling me who's rolling them. Oh, that's because it was a rare. It was a. Um, hang on. Let's try a skill check. This yeah. Is, okay. So yeah. I'll drop a deception in there, and then it says, "Danny, if you want to do your thing in there, go ahead." 
Okay. But you got to pull up the skill list. Don't just drop the dice dice in there. I yep, did. yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. Now, uh, let's just do a generic roll. Very good. Very good. All right. Um, go ahead and give me... I'll be generous. Let's... I don't think Johnny's going to Give me four more of those rolls. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yes. I'm trying to decide what I'm getting here. I I have a strange feeling we're being encroached upon. Yeah. Sneaky kind of way. Oh my. Who's coming? I don't know. <laughs> you guys stop. <laughs> Should we be afraid? Be Sorry, how afraid. many of those did you get? Uh, I got two. Okay. So I need... There we go. Okay. There. All right. I'll send you some useful gear. Okay, cool. Corey can see the sound effect board I'm playing with, and we're getting very excited about some of the potential. <laughs> <laughs> the tabletopaudio.com has for a sound pad. <laughs> some, some seriously cool stuff. Oh, my. Um, okay, so what do we want for gear here? What do I want? I want stuff. I like stuff. Can I have cash? <laughs> well, those, we have a those, slip, man. those tickets will will work any time in the game. Yeah, I know. But so it's even like if he you wants money back, to go in the outside can... world and go, look, I have coins and shiny beads to the natives we're going to find out there. Gear is probably going to do us better. How about buying us a tent to sleep in? What? I, I, got, I don't want to sleep with I, you I guys. I got a cart and a minotaur. It was like just me in the back. Let's fill all up. All right, fine. I blew all my cash on a ride. You guys John. can ride along. Johnny, just... I need a tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah sir. What, what, we, sorry, the, the the pretty lady got me all kinds of flustered. <sighs> Look, son, I need a tent. We need a tent. A big tent. Ten... Oh, you're together. All right, we can get you a big old tent. What kind? What content? You need party tent. A pavilion. You need tent? a camping tent. You need a a one person, two person tent. Something what that content? would hold like six people. Seven. You need a party tent. Then all right. <laughs> Bringing a friend. <laughs> Does it come? A medium Does it... size tent yeah. with and and just a small one for me. <laughs> Does it come with a pole? Yeah, but if, I come with multiple poles. If, you, if you, you, you need like twelve poles to hold that tent up. All right, we'll we take. All, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. We should all sleep together. I mean, like if a bear singles out like a single one of us in the middle of the night and just rips apart the single man's tent, that's not good. That's he's got a good point. There's lots of creatures out there in the night, and it's fine. I'll sleep in a tree. <laughs> Actually, there's there's a, like a, a one man hammock sleeping bag tent thing. Yeah, there is. There you go. So that 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 big tent's going to cost you about ten gold, but it comes with all the little things that you need to put it up. So does it come with people to put it up? Uh, not yet. <laughs> that would be us, the owners. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll take a tent. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got yourselves a tent. I guess we better get some food. Do we need food? Rations, yeah. You, yeah. you rations, about a week's worth. Uh, you were re reinforcefully told <laughs> multiple times. <sighs> uh, yeah, I need a week's worth of food. Maybe two weeks. I need two weeks. I like food. Yeah, two weeks times four or five people where'd that other fella go i'm sure he'll pop up yeah, next week uh yeah <laughs> Johnny, five of us right come on where's the rest of the help here we need two weeks rations five times the rest of you guys better start all digging right, it, all right. it, he digging points and points and points and people run uh, you just want the regular trail rations or you want like the, the fancy rations those are like with like grit. gator meat what's the difference in cost uh, like the simple ones are like five copper and the nicer ones are like a silver piece. Mm. Maybe we'll take like, you know, for the weekends or bought ourselves a weekend, you know, with half something. And half. Yeah. 
Oregon. What the lady said. Every other day we eat gator. One week of each. What the lady said. Hey, lady. Very, very I well. I to like you. Oh, okay. Name's yeah. Danny, hon. All right. Dan, 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 all well, right. We, we'll nice do, we'll do you. that. We'll get you that there. You just want one week or you want multiple weeks? Two weeks. Two two, two weeks? Two, two weeks each? Two weeks each. One week regular. Right. One week fancy. Uh, all right. Let me... I'll, I'll get that there for you. All right. Very well. <laughs> we got, Hold on a second. Uh, it, 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 was, it was one week or one week? Yes, Johnny. Uh, uh, one week right. and one week. One week and one week. Right. So um, is there a lot of people around us? Like you said, there's, there's, a lot there's a lot of movement, a lot of people going on. You've been bumped into a bunch of times. Oh, okay. Um, you know. Oh, that's fine. So, well, what about, uh, what about you, green man? You said you're good, but that parchment isn't going to spend itself. How about you chipping in on some of the supplies we need and other things? I mean, look at this shiny new minotaur I got. I'll call and him, I it? believe I'll call him Josh. Josh, yeah. No, he I am be good. good or we're going to eat him. Get it? Josh. No, I got it. <laughs> look at I know, I know no, Joe got God. it. <laughs> I know. What? <laughs> he always liked to play a minotaur when we were playing D&D. &D. Our buddy always wanted to play a minotaur back in the, D and um, back in the day. So Josh, who's so. paying for, is it just you who wanted the one in one or are you all getting one in one? She convinced us. She's very convincing. So who's paying for um, Dr. Quack? Anyone that wants to ride my cart, that's who. <laughs> it, it's it's ten it's ten gold and five or it would be a total of of ten gold and uh five copper per each of you guys did it i am good i do not need anything else. yes but you're sitting on 50 gold man which i can use later time later when later I, see he's when, thinking ahead he's actually going well do I need a cart and a an ox? No, I have legs. Okay. <laughs> but if you lose that parchment in the wilderness, maybe you'll like wanna I don't know, stash it here or something. If you lose the ox or it attracts animals. Hey hey, hey Dr. <laughs> Quack, why don't you give me a nice dice roll of perception? Hmm okay. Wah. Eleven. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I feel lighter and I don't know why. Okay. Um, so we've got transportation, shelter, food, mm -hmm. and what about weapons? Is there ones? Anybody need anything extra? Well, like some extra, uh, some extra bows, darts, some bow, extra. Well, I'm thinking like bows for hunting now, actually. Maybe getting um, you know, actually like a uh, short bow or something. Yeah. Now. Crossbows are more plentiful. Okay, sure. Than yeah, regular yeah, bows. Take crossbow. So if you want some crossbows and bolts, yep. that's fine. Crossbow and bolts would be great. Uh, they're like in uh, ten packs. I'll take twenty. Okay. Uh, where's our stuff? I go well, we've got a cart, right? Inventory. It should be. Yeah, I gotcha. And we have a cart. Yeah, you've got a cart now, and that cart is going to be able to carry about. 500 pounds worth of stuff plus you all right well i want four sets of bolts pack them up nice so i can put them in a the cart all right sir i'll, I'll, I'll get it i'll get it tommy yeah you over there yeah that tommy no not the go go tell your master we need a whole case of bolts and how many crossbows sir i'll take one and we already have our gear that we had before. Like, we already have our base correct. gear, correct? Okay, so I don't need another crossbow. I just need some bolts. All right. So All if right. you pull it under your inventory, you can adjust the bolts. Yep, I did. You said four, not six. I had two before. Oh, wow. You got, like, ah. 60 bolts. Yeah, I like bolts. 
We don't know what's out on the other side. They're shiny. Bolts are shiny. You know, bolts. They're shiny. Okay. What am I doing with... Oh, I got Explorer's clothing. Oh, we're good. I got close. Look at that. I'm not naked. If, if we're in like the yeah, if we're good. in the trenches, Marlena gets a tree, and there's we're down two men, and I'm like, cling, I'm out. You better not just shrug at me, Mister Sixty Bolts. You know what I'm saying? You better throw me one of those bundles. Berkey, well, wait, I'd sell them to you, but you're out of cash. <laughs> Considering we don't know what's on the other side of the mountains, can we uh, bring like a barrel of water? Ooh, that's a good idea. Hey, you're pretty smart. I'm really beginning to like you, lady. I'm going to empty as we can use it as like a rain barrel. Good idea. Yeah. Let's get a big barrel of water. Yo, Johnny. The lady needs yeah. a, the lady needs a barrel of water. A bar and a little oh. drum of booze. <laughs> what are you I'm sorry, doing? Johnny. Why do you need all right, all right, hold on a second. How oh, I got a Make it good water. None of that sludge. <laughs> I I got you a barrel barrel got you barrels. Got your barrels. Uh, Don't worry. None of that Devon mineral crap. Good, clean, glacier water. All right. All right. I'll get you your 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 water. Glacier glacier. What the hell is your water. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't need him. So you see him with three other guys carrying two containers of water out to the cart. Okay. So we got a Minotaur. I'm driving. Don't look at me like that, Joe. This vehicle does not have <laughs> <laughs> does not have an engine. I'm gonna try some driving roles for once in my playing career. It's, Damn it. No no drifting it's, with the Minotaur? Mm. Because it is a ride. <laughs> right. Okay, well, who, who's got anyway? I just, I just, I'm owning it for the group. You know, you guys would take shifts yeah. driving. You know, yep. I'll probably be in the back, <laughs> lying on my mattress, stitching somebody up, or just lying on my mattress, <laughs> looking like oh, a my. million known bucks. <laughs> <laughs> a million known bucks. Okay, it is a chains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Prima Donna. We got uh, uh we got a cart, uh -huh. we got food, we got nice food for the weekends. Yeah. We got a uh, nice big barrel of water, maybe a little keg of booze. A little celebrate. You know, so time. I'm gonna got, pull a little Johnny off to the side. Get my crossbow away from everybody else mm -hmm. and go Johnny. Yeah. I need a Sir. I need a keg of rum. Another one? Yes. I just put I just put your water in no, there. I need a keg of rum, Johnny. A the good rum. rum. Do you have any? What else do you have back there? I do. You, do you just want? All right, come with me. I'm uh, just. I don't know. What do you? What do adults like to eat? Drink? What? what do, whiskey. Bathe in. No, no water. You want to well, bathe in what? some whiskey? No, no, I, no, no. Water will do fine, Johnny. Water will do fine, I, uh, but I, I, but, but no, 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 to bathe in, Johnny. I'm happy to bathe in water. I don't need anything else. But what have you got back there? Ale, rum, whiskey. What have you got? We we got the whole Todd family. <laughs> if I wake up, wineries, if I wake up one morning and, and find you sitting in our rain and, barrel, I, I mean, will cut we're you. Not <laughs> it's the whole. What's the best? It's a lot. What's the best you got, Johnny? The best, the top the, shelf, the, the best. I, I I need you to roll an intimidate check or a, a something now because he's getting flustered, flustered. All right, so here comes an intimidation. Mm, Twenty three. Give us Mac. Oh my! All right. Uh, yeah, come on, Johnny. You want, one of the, you want one of the silver barrels in? All right. All right. And I want a good price, Johnny. Uh, uh, come on, Johnny. Um, I can um, give. I can probably. I'll get it to you for 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 a quarter off. It, it'll cost you about forty gold. No, 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 no. Ten gold. I come on, Johnny. Sir, that, nobody. I can't no, Johnny, know, Johnny, sir. Johnny, I no, can't. Johnny, nobody's going to know the difference. It's between you and me here, Johnny. Oh, you, you. Just between you, you, and, you and me. You want me to flip the 
the the signpost? Is that what you want me to do? Something like that, yeah, Johnny. Oh well, you're gonna to have to help me with this, then, sir. I'm I'm all. I tell you what, Johnny. Boss tell, says. I tell you what, Johnny. Boss you, says I don't have any thumbs. Well, I, no thumbs, sir. No, no. I got no got thumbs. no thumbs. So how about Johnny? You just show me where these bar these barrels are, and then you just go back to doing what you're doing. Oh, oh. I, yeah. yeah, sir. That sounds like a better idea. How's the guy with I don't no want brands to get grip end up being the assistant quartermaster? <laughs> <laughs> He's a crafty dude. Which direction, Johnny? I just behind the tent is the it's the yellow one, the yellow one with the yeah you'll you won't miss it. Are you sure about this? Because I'd hate to go out there and find it's not there. Because if I have to come back in here, I won't be a happy guy. No, it's it's there, sir. Right. It's there. All right. Very good. Thanks, Johnny. Nope. Nope. Yeah. So you are you? Is that where you're heading next? Does anybody else want anything done? Done? Did? Uh, we no, we can sit here and talk to Johnny all night. He's hilarious. But... <laughs> uh, John, 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 Johnny is awesome. I just need to know where to get my barrel from, which I got. And uh, so my next question is: Is what happens with this leftover cash? Uh, you basically they've stamped it. He stamped it and said, you know, you've got. It's kind of like a, a, a gift card. You know, he he says you've got X amount of gold left on your card. Is there? It, it is <laughs> on your world it, of road it, it is good card. until it's not. It's like, uh, uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach into my own stash, and pull out a gold coin, and I'm going to slip it to Johnny. Oh, he 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 grabs it with his two fingers. He just go. grabs it. Go. Kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. Good, good for X amount. Thank you, sir. You nobody ever tips Johnny. They all just kick him in the ass. Nah, you're a good guy, Johnny. Thank you very much. No, I wish you guys luck. Where are you guys heading off to? You you different than the other groups. What makes us different, you Johnny? You can tell. You well, well. First off, you're not going in the same direction. And everybody else, everybody else is getting pre-made packs that we're handing out. You actually have a ticket. What's in the pre-made pack? Oh, you know, just three days trail rations, a hatchet, flint and steel, starting fire, flare, um, can, smoke could, thingy. Could you just um, could you just toss one of those packs in the you know in the cart there, and we'll pay for it? But we got plenty. You want one for each you? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh, all right. I'll get you a, a pack. I, I feel more adventurous with this pack. It's not a pack we put together all last week. Uh huh. We'll assume that's the adventurous pack from the core book. <clears throat> yep, basically. I knew it. Sweet. Thanks, Johnny. With a few extra alchemical gizmos. Awesome. Yeah, um, I don't know if he has actually like basic alchemical goods, like raw ingredients, but if I can track some of those down. A little ethanol, a little cider, mm, a little Maltoff, a little cocktail. He, they have everything for level one supplies. Okay. Well, so I, if I'm there's just, something specific uh, you're looking for, the stuff that my guy can whip together, the quick list for the churgeon, some of the minor healing right. and everything, I would like to restock on that so I have several doses so that I can mix and heal, you know, all of us a couple times over, you know. And I've got the, uh, I believe my character has the actual healing kit somewhere on here. Oh, maybe not. Um, yeah, does they, do they actually sell or possibly, you know, has the actual kit, the healing kit? Yes, they have the healing kit. It's the same price. Yep. Healer's tools and healer kit, if I can afford them on the tab. Yep. You want to put it on just somebody else's? I'm pretty sure. Healer's yep. tool kit. Um, what am I doing? You want a healer's toolkit? I've got a healer's toolkit. Like the basic, not uh, the expensive. Do you want just the basic one? 
Yeah, like we're low level and you know we're relatively cheap. Oh yeah, you can. That's ten gold. Okay. So between the the rest of your money, I believe you can totally pull that off. Okay. Um, now I, I found healer's tools. I didn't find the healing kit in here in the list. That's what I'm. That's basically what it is. The kit is the same as the tools. Because if if you read it, it says this kit of bandages. Oh, okay. The tools of the trade. Okay, I got it. Right. I have a first aid box. Awesome. Basically. Okay. Yep. I'm sa I'm satisfied. So on the way out, I would like to surreptitiously hit the yellow tent and grab my keg. Well, you walk in there, and it's like a a legit, you know, in barrels, dated time stamped uh just down the line who was the one who fermented it who where it came from what it's made of everything from wine to you know your entire keg's worth of whiskey um again there's a few of these that definitely have blood splatters on them i'm looking for a fairly old bottle keg of whiskey Sc give me a perception check scotch Something like that. Oh, crap. Seven. Well, you are just completely enamored by Nothing. just the, the, the burnt printing of this just fierce-looking creature is on this thing. It's caught your attention. It, it, who knew a horned rabbit could look so ferocious? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> this is going to be rot gut. This is going to be like horny rabbit whiskey. <laughs> the the this thing, man, it's and it's painted green. None of these other barrels are painted green. It's got the horned rabbit. It's got it definitely looks like the horned rabbit's chewing on somebody's foot. I mean, Can you imagine walking uh, walking into a tavern and like, "Give me a horned rabbit." <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess it is what it is. If that's the best that I see, then Horned Rabbit it is. <laughs> awesome. Good thing I only paid a gold for it. Okay. <laughs> so Joe's got what he's need. Cheryl got us some good food. You and I are just milking this. Um, are we? Are we good guys? Shall we? Shall we move on? Are ready to hit the road? Late in the day, <laughs> it's well, been all day the meeting and the haggling and the, you know. Let, yeah, let's head out at sunset. That's... Go west. We'll follow the sun. Look at that. <laughs> Just get outside the gate. Let's camp here. It's the sun is setting. <laughs> that works. That works. That works. I find this item and I can't understand this. It's so we so much easier. We um. We're moseying on. Yeah. Right? On the road again? Yeah. Okay. I won't sing. Are you sure? You don't want to? No. I'm tossing up between singing or riding the Minotaur. <laughs> All right. So who's driving? I'm just going. Well, you claimed that honor, I believe. Yeah, awesome. Here's my minotaur. Just <clears throat> sit on the shoulders and steer the horns. <laughs> it's got reins, so like a uh, a bunker seat in the front of the cart. What kind of setup we got here? It looks like a old style stagecoach, but with like bigger tires, bigger rims, metal plated. It's a war wagon. Basically, yes. It is a war wagon. Oh, right, because we asked for the armored cart. Yes. Basically, yeah. And you, when you said, you like, have... is there, like, a real minotaur, like, pulling this? Yeah, or is we're it... going to be making a whole bunch of noise, too. No, it's actually, it, that's what they call the, the, the steer. Um. They're just really large. They're large-scaled 
very almost onto the next scale level creatures with really big horns. So they've named them Minotaurs. So basically, okay. it's a Texas Longhorn cow. Basically, yeah, mixed with like a buffalo. Moo. Yeah. Moo. A bison. Okay. Cool. I mean, as long as you don't mind the stink <laughs> then that's coming off of this thing, then, uh, you know, we're all good. So we ride to the west in our cart. Get along, little doggy. Yeah. Get along. Raw hide. <laughs> 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 rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Gee, my cheeks are swollen. Right. <laughs> the uh, very good. You, very you good. remember that the um, the Billy Crystal version? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> give me up. Give me a shower. Give me that. Right. Give me a shower. Oh, look what you got yourself into, Cheryl. Those two I are know. just waiting for their turn to speak. Putting us two in the same room. Not a good idea. Maybe not. I think it's great. Oh, yeah, you're having a good time. <laughs> so we I'm are glad. moving out then, huh? Finally. Very Onward. good. Finally. Yeah, I'll slow the cart so the rest of them can catch up well. <laughs> Mr. Two Egg, legs and walk, I'm fine. Are you going to get in the cart? Uh, you're just going to make me go at your pace. Go at my pace. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Head off. <laughs> Are you really going to leave him behind? Well, the camp set up, you know. Yeah, no, I, no. We can't leave no, him no. behind. Oh, we, we, the ox don't go that fast. I'm sure Stubby can keep up. Besides, we're all half human, right? Yeah. So he's so yeah. Stubby's got long legs. Yeah, don't let the voice fool you. I've just been in character the entire Stubby. time. I, I'm like 6'12". 6'12". I'm not allowed to be 7 feet tall, so I'm 6'12". Are you sure you're not 5'24"? Yeah. <laughs> So, are you guys going to... That's why every woman is always disappointed because he believes he's 6'12". <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, you are now taking penalties on all your rolls. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> you must re-roll all successes. That's why I put you beside me and not the wife. <laughs> hey, I, I, keep your hands to yourself. No poking. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful lonely on the road <laughs> all right so <laughs> should have bought that mattress would have made our stay here a lot more comfortable <laughs> see, I, I thought ahead you know mm -hmm. you know here we are alone in the back of the cart kind of you know what i'm saying i wish i had that mattress don't you no no all right no back you're... to spooning <laughs> stop it already <laughs> okay let the, let the cart drive on you're all just going in a circle. Like, <laughs> it's just not even going to the right place. <laughs> it's just going in a circle. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, are you coming there, short guy? Are you gonna? Are you seriously okay. gonna walk? We're short guy. He's Everybody's green. The same freaking. <laughs> <laughs> He's just green. Welcome to the giant green guy. Are you coming or what? I will walk. All right. We, it's we, the same speed as an ox pulling a heavy cart. Exactly. All right, yep, I'm yep. going to walk with the green guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Make a big deal of it. <laughs> you know the rules, guys. <sighs> I'm just fucking with you. It's no humor. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, I stopped the yeah, cart. Let yeah. him get ahead like three feet. How about now? <laughs> Stop the cart again. Let him go six more <laughs> feet. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you save some of your money for protection. <laughs> I have an armored yeah. cart. <laughs> Besides, you're outside of it. They'll get you first. <laughs> okay. So, uh, go ahead and give me um, give me a set of, of uh, perception checks as this day goes on and it comes into evening. You want us to put them in the, the little box? So. 25 jesus eight um yeah uh wow nine she can really tell 612 ain't 612 with that kind of perception going on 21 
I win. Ha. Mm. Flapjack. I like so flapjack. we've got well, no, I want your, two of I want you your who are just <laughs> completely amazed by the birds that are flying overhead. Um, Ak and Mephit are um, Mephit are completely arguing with each other over what type of bird that is. Um, while the rest of you notice the day go by without any inconveniences, no trouble, nothing on the horizon. It's a yellow canary. Um, you know, no, that's a cardinal. It's no, a blue, um, jay. Oh, blue jay. <laughs> Come on, what's a blue jay? It's a goose. It's a goose. <laughs> it's a duck. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, both idiots. It's a hawk. It's a dragon quack. <laughs> The elusive dragon quack. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, pick up our pace. Um, now ride animal now is what an athletics check. I have to make a ride check to drive a cart. No, but I think you're going to need to do a nature check to keep it under control. Have, well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm the... sure I went before we left. <laughs> Do you have really? a ride feet? Because it's not really riding; it's it's controlling no. the animal. No, I got eleven with my. <clears throat> That's all you need. It's a ten. Na it's a, nature it's eleven. A, okay. There's okay. you're not under. It's not under stress. You're not being attacked, so it's only it's a, it's a simple DC ten. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's a it's either a nature or a. Whatever. Is there any kind of road trail? Are we following anything? Yes, or that's we, what I'm getting yeah. ready to. You you get about halfway through the day, all of a sudden you come across basically a brand new road, um, stone road that definitely isn't something that should be here, and it's going exactly where you need to go. So uh, Grim Todd was not lying when he said that he's been preparing for this all year. Um, as soon as the rest of those carts and everybody else gets on this road, your speed is definitely going up by about 50%. So a two day journey ends up taking uh, a day and a half. So even though you come down to the, uh, come to the end of the first day, um, are you guys going to continue traveling through the night, sleeping in the cart, or are you going to stop, make camp and continue on in the morning? We'll, we'll make the wagon train of one, you know, let the let the minotaur loose and give him a long lead to graze a little bit and make a nice fire and, you know, like do the whole thing, like wind down, unwind, unpack, you know. Who made you, boss? Who wants to be in the car all day? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Did you want to tell the kids what to do? Not really. Okay, but well. I think we should all decide what we want to do. Okay. Well, while you're deciding, I'm unpacking the car, letting the minotaur roll. <laughs> Making, Mom a and fire. Dad are again. <laughs> Making a little fire. Making a little fire. Don't make me come back there. All right. <clears throat> um, and he never Joe, sat beside me again. <laughs> you realize that in the back of the cart is the fabled horned rabbit goblin schnapps are in the back of the cart someone up in heaven must love you because this stuff is amazing to goblins um nobody everybody else is going to have to take fortitude save to drink this stuff but you <laughs> you sir you're going to get a plus one on all rolls so long as you drink that before the beginning of combat wow I guess Saren Ray is looking uh, for me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets a plus one for drinking it. What if he dumps it on his head and sets himself on fire? What kind of plus you going to give him then? <laughs> the <laughs> Holy Goblin Warrior of Flame. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Blaze, it's the, Blaze of Glory. It's the fabled Flaming Goblin. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I I think that Goblin's been flaming for a while. He just, he just got to come out of the keg. So, yes. So, so uh, while... Uh, Mom here is uh, doing his thing. I'm going to cast the Detect Magic to see what's going on. Okay. Go ahead. I really wish you guys could hear these awesome sound effects they I'm pumping through. <laughs> really good. 
So where's my roll? Of what? What are you going for? I detect magic. I casted it. I'm just waiting for answers. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't think it's out. a dice thing. It's just you click on that to show the world in the in the chat that you've cast yeah. it. And it's, you know, if you click on the dragon there next to it, it'll give oh, you yeah, a description. Because it's, a, and then, it's a guaranteed, yes, yeah. correct. It was a combat spell. It might be something more interesting happening than just a bland. Oh. Oh, you are definitely most of the stuff that you bought got from the quartermaster is well, it's glowing. Um the color of divination. Damn. I knew it. Should have thought that through. Um Yeah. Most of it. I would like to, in the process of that, I would like to crack that case of bolts. Okay. And take a much closer look. And uh, I should be able to cast that again as a cantrip, correct? Yeah. I would like to grab a single bolt and cast it directly on the bolt. Right on the bolt. Okay. So, it's, all right. I. We can do that. I want to see if anything particular shows up on my bolts that I bought. Uh, nothing is glowing off of that. The packaging itself seemed to be what was glowing. Interesting. Okay. So, boys and girls, this is what's happened. Looks like everything that we picked up is loaded with something. I'm not following. No, they're by. <laughs> <laughs> I explained to the rest of the group what I found with my detect magic. Okay. Um, he basically just... Everything seems to have some form of divination. All the gear we bought? All the gear. It is blessed. Um, they're tracking us. Potentially, uh, that's I'm I'm no caster myself. But if we didn't pay extra price and magic is so valuable in the world, they want to know what's on the outside world. They would spend magic and cash to learn more. They're tracking us magically. There's no other explanation. And yet, you guys wanted to buy everything. Just say. What green guy? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Greed gets you nowhere. I just wanted some booze. Well, we do work for them. I mean, it's not a terrible thing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's think of it like a flare. Maybe they'll come help us if we get in trouble or if we don't, you know, if, if the tracked goods don't move for a while, they'll come out and mm, pick, Reclaim their goods. pick through their. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Point taken. I don't care. Well, for like a leash. we're far more well equipped this way. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I was just guessing. I mean, <clears throat> making an educated guess on why it was glowing. Or what's for dinner? I just got the fire going. I just watered the minotaur. You could pitch in and help. You know. Do I look like somebody who cooks? Look, Mister, I have too many crossbow bolts. How about firing one off into the woods and getting us some game? Go hunting. I'll hold really? Down. You I'll want hold me to go fort. hunting? Yeah. All right. I can't see in the dark. Fine. <laughs> He's got a good point. So uh, I'm going to pick a direction. I don't know. I'm going west. I'm going to take a little right. walk, grab my crossbow, mm -hmm. load a bolt. Would you Would you say that you guys are directly off the path, or are you like camping right in the middle of the road? No, like off the path. But if if so, if something walked by, we could probably hear it, or if something came by, could probably hear us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. May I suggest that we actually camp on the road, since there is nobody else coming behind us? Correct. We are the only ones venturing this way. Correct. So behind us is safe on this road. Fine, I'll move the camp. 
<laughs> Start packing up my log and, mm. and just move the fire. Ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Okay. Uh, outside of just the regular hubbub of what you're looking for, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, there's some animals definitely grazing off into the gr greater distance, but they don't seem to have noticed you or even care. Any uh, wolves, owls, bears, anything ominous out there, like predatory, you know, sounds of the night, or is it just your regular? Um, it, the thing is about the sanctuary, um, they basically killed off the last predator almost 100 years ago that was here. Okay. Um, so I yell so into the woods the, and tell Mefret to stop making predator noises because he's freaking me out. Um, for the most part, yeah. Like the, the greatest thing would be like a a minotaur stampede. That would be the greatest danger the, out here in the wild. And where would they stampede? Uh, in the plains. Right down the road. I move back. Right down the road. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. back. Any any intelligent bison would go down. All right. Jared, check your chat, please. Yeah, we'll do. I'm. Uh, I'm doing mom stuff, I guess. Looking after camp, you know, waiting for dinner to to come so we can clean it and uh, take inventory. You know, I'm still going to carry on in my little westerly direction, trying to stick to a fairly straight line, trying to stay quiet to see what I can find. Scouting. Well, this road has been used. Um. That doesn't take a perception check, but it is also very new. Like I said, this sticks out like a sore thumb out here in the middle of nowhere. So anything outside of those two things, I would need an actual perception check for. All right. 11. <laughs> Damn, I suck. The road has been used. Uh, it's not pristine, but it is... It's not as used as some places. Um, Do I catch any game around? Anything along the road? Anything I can see that maybe we can kill and eat? Oh, are we. Oh, if that's what you're looking for, then there's the, you know, uh, yeah, there's there's birds. There's you know. What's that new rule? It's not survival check. You make a sustenance or a sustain uh, encounter mode. I mean exploration mode thing for this yeah it's uh it's it, it it's a perception thing um if you're actually doing that otherwise it is what is the skill is it sir uh, is I'll it, eventually have all the skills memorized is again. it is survival um, it's a yeah it's just stay in survival check okay so i've got a survival so after doing that let's take a survival With oh very good 23 um, what would you, you definitely find some tracks and some some markings of some uh, uh, squirrels and rabbits. You could definitely hunt one down if you needed to. Um, hmm. Is that what you're looking to do? Yes. Let's uh, maybe follow some rabbit tracks. Let's see if we can find a couple okay. of rabbits. Horned rabbits. Mil milk them for goblin whiskey. <laughs> what? All right. What? Um, I I'm kidding. They're vicious. <laughs> got sharp teeth. Yep. You find some honey badgers. Very good. All right. Um. <laughs> honey badgers. Sure. What the heck? Uh, no. Uh, you do find some squirrels. Um, they're they're larger than your your typical squirrel, but that's basically everything here in this world. Um, so if you are going to, let me. I love it. We have industrial sized cattle. <laughs> it's like you know <laughs> you shoot the squirrel it's the size of a dog and it just looks at you like really <laughs> you talking to me <laughs> yeah, pulls it out loads its own crossbow <laughs> what happened to you I got mugged by a squirrel <laughs> run dirtbag run <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, I'm going to pick a squirrel and uh, we're going to uh, take aim with my handy dandy crossbow and see if we can't get a squirrel Okay, we will do that. Let's see here. Let's drop you in. Oh, great. Yay. Let's 
it's been giving me a lot of time error. So, uh, all right, let's just you've you managed to find one. Are you going to shoot at it? Yes. Well, roll to hit, good oh. sir. Uh, what do I need to do to do that? Just make a normal attack roll with your crossbow. It should be in your gear section. Inventory. Combat. Go to Actions. your combat section. Um, Action section. Or, yeah, yeah. Act. What is it? Actions. Actions. Yep, got it. Actions, that's right. It's at the very bottom of your craziness. Oops. That's the wrong one. There we go. Nope, wrong mind. There we go. Zero. Oh, it says I don't have any ammo. How do I fix that? So I have a lot. So I've, wait. Oop. Let me see here, because it was. I should. I initially had two, so I got. You two. need. Yeah. You all you have to do is equip it in your inventory, I believe. Yep, I'm good. So now. whatever inventory. There you go. I got a twelve. That will hit a stationary creature. Excellent. Aha. Especially these stationary creatures. Roll damage. Uh. So damage. So what do I do for that? Uh, it should be in the same in the action oh, bar section. Yep, got it. One, and then you just click the yeah, click the one d eight or grab it and roll. Five. Oh, it's hit, and it's pissed. Ooh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's try it and 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 hit it again. Uh, no, Ooh. now now we get to go into initiative because oh my you. Oh. You pissed off a a stone a, squirrel. A rabbit this is squirrel. Be fun. <laughs> oh man! This is, yeah, you, you 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 pissed off a stone squirrel. So yeah, we're going to uh, have ourselves a little one on three combat. This is going to be great. Oh shit! <laughs> one on three. <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> so i think we will start that after this lovely little break brought so, to us by pazio so and in the middle of the night right you we, we, we say go hunting and, and like 10 minutes later we hear like <laughs> nothing <laughs> just like <laughs> one guy just freaking out you know um so if you're listening to the audio we'll see you next time if you are watching our live stream and video, we will see you after the break. So stay tuned, or we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.